Hi, welcome to this Learn Typing tutorial. Hey, this is uh, Jeff Holding speaking. I'm the webmaster and administrator for the Learn Typing website. I'm putting this recording together on behalf of Doreen Holding, who is the creator of the site. So let's just have a quick look now and see what some of the basic things you need to know are about this site so you can get the most out of Learn Typing. As you can see from the start here, this is uh, a spots website put together to help you with your speed, your accuracy, and your confidence and you can apply this um, what you learn here for your education in your workplace and at home so let's just scroll down a little bit here and see what uh, what there is to offer the four main places which most people tend to go to on the site there are the beginning beginner typing lessons advanced typing lessons tests typing tests various different speed tests and uh, everybody loves to play games so there are games as well now there are three main sections which you will be interested in the first is our beginner typing lessons. We range from lesson one right through to seven. Same also with advanced typing lessons. We have advanced, advanced typing skills one through to seven. And uh, what a lot of people miss out on when they're doing their typing is finding some really helpful shortcuts just to, just to save them from using the mouse all the time. All those mouse clicks are not good for your fingers. So um, we've got shortcuts ranging, ranging from one again through to seven. So we're going to go right in now and have a look at Beginner Lesson 1 so you can see how this works. So just click on Beginner Lesson 1 here and we've made this as simple as possible. Right at the very top of the page you'll see a computer screen. Place your fingers as indicated on the screen with your small finger, sometimes called your pinky finger on the letter A, on the left for your left hand and over on the semicolon and colon key for the pinky finger of the right hand. You can see the rest of the hand here positioned across the keyboard. Your right hand here, left hand here, thumb, right thumb is usually used for the space bar. Now you'll see a quick go to quick start to begin. That's perhaps the best way to do so. We'll do it so we'll just click on that right now. And here we have um, basic finger placing for your first lesson. ASDF covered by these fingers here. J, K, L and the colon these fingers here. So we scroll down and see exactly how this works. All you need to do is click inside the yellow box here and you can type ASDF space, ASDF space, ASDF space. And to move your um, cursor into the next box below when you finish doing the first exercise simply press the tab key and that will drop right into the next text box there and then you can continue to work with this one. So we'll just scroll down a little bit more here. There are more exercises, some for the right hand, some for both hands. And again, when there's new, thing, new keys introduced, you'll see a small little image here that explains the, the finger positioning. Take a minute just to look at that before you go on. Make sure you're using the correct fingers because correct finger placement is important if you're going to learn to type correctly and become a great typist. Whether you're going to do this for typing at home, for school passing school exams, or as a professional, it's very important that you keep your posture, the position of your fingers on the keyboard in the best possible form. So we'll just move over here, we'll go up to the uh, advanced typing skills. Those who are interested in this, we'll just have a quick look at this. We're moving into typing whole sentences here. Although we do start with a few exercises that just bring in uh, letter combinations such as TH that you'll use a lot when you're typing, TH, OU, and you'll see these down here. You see how these are combined, AU on its own, AUGH, and then we get LAUGH, laugh. So lots of um, interesting things happen down here as you look at this, we've got some really interesting uh, word combinations, we've got anger, sang, danger, fang, rang, tang, gang, kind of rings in your mind, helps you to uh, work through the exercises, makes, makes it a lot of fun as you're doing these. And we get some tongue twisters as we move on to the more advanced uh, typing skills. We might find some other typing skills for, here we go. How has Humphrey Henderson hacked Hillary Harding's, Hillary Harding's Hawthorne Hedge? What a tongue twister that is. Just try and type that. I'm not going to do it now, but if you're an advanced typer and you want a bit of a challenge and a bit of fun at the same time, here we go. Here's an exercise just for you. And then we go down into something called the uh, free typing tests. You've got an opportunity of uh, just testing your, 
speed, seeing how you're going with your speed. Once you've done the basics, for, first of all, make sure that you do learn at your level. Start at your level. Don't jump in too soon to the more difficult lessons, but start in as uh, early as you can. Begin lesson one, if that's where you need to start, then start there. Make sure you work that through first before you move to beginner lesson two. So here we go, some uh, 10 word typing tests. Again, just click inside the box and you type this phrase here. And the phrase is actually teaching you something about typing and punctuation and, and uh, word processing at the same time. So this is not just a typing program, it's a typing program that teaches you about word processing, keyboard shortcuts, and how to be a typing professional. And you can scroll right down here to the bottom of the page and you get much larger word tests. Here we have a 50 word test and there's even a 60 word test coming up uh, later on. Here we are, 60 word tests. Now you can of course make these boxes larger, just click the grab handle at the right here and pull this right down just to make it bigger so you can see what you're typing in there. And of course uh, New Zealand, see the word New Zealand here? This is the country that um, Doreen Holding and Jeff Holding, I'm Jeff, work, work, we live in this place and we love this country. Uh, people in this country are referred to as Kiwis, <laughs> the Kiwi is a flightless bird and uh, it's a, a very important part of our, our nation, national sort of identity to identify ourselves with uh, something special about our land and um, our heritage here. So there we go, a little bit of um, blabbing on there which I didn't really intend to put in. But we'll just scroll back up here and um, you can see the great choice of um, typing that you can do. Here we go, keyboard shortcuts, click on here and you've got some very helpful tips to just letter combinations. For example, closing a program using Alt and F4. Did you know that you could close a program by simply pressing Alt and F4? Well there you go. Lots of other helpful keyboard shortcuts in there as well. So it's time for me to stop talking and time for you to start working. We wish you all the best. Have, um, have a great time learning about typing and uh, becoming a great typist. All the best. We'll catch you later. Bye.